as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do. The Bible says, do not say before an angel I made a mistake. Because they have an assignment to execute what you say. As you have spoken in my ears, as you have decreed, so will I do unto you. Decrees are powerful. We legislate and we create realities in this kingdom on the power of decrees. That means you set in motion things that have no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree, I declare you say, my path is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter. In the name of Jesus, that every obstacle that stands before me clears. You are not just speaking. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Prayer is a platform to make decrees. Prophetic decrees are powerful. They can shift mountains. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. As it is written, look up please. I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed and even God who quickened the dead and does what? Called those things which be not as though they were. So I can make decrees and call things into my life. Favor, open doors, speed, help us. I can command them to arise by decrees. One scripture to demonstrate the power of decrees. Ezekiel 37. Hmm. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Look up please. And he set me down in the midst of the valley which was what? Full of bones. Bones meant that once upon a time those people were alive. Something happened and deteriorated them down to the point where they had become bones. And caused me to pass by them round about and behold they were very many in the open valley and low they were very dry very dry means that they had been there for a long time someone's life is about to change yeah. verse 3 and he said unto me son of man i want to teach you something can these bones can this situation live again and he answered lord even though i'm a prophet the difficulty in this situation, I do not know if it can change. Only thou knowest. This is a prophet who was in a vision. And yet he did not even believe the possibility of that happening. That's a seriously hopeless situation. And then, verse 4, he said unto me, prophesy. Prophesy upon these bones. Prophesy upon the delay. Prophesy upon the retrogression, not around it, upon it. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5. And saith, thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. 6. Now notice this, for the sake of time. Did you notice that God was telling him what to say and the bones did not move? God was telling him what to say and yet the bones were acting as if it was not God talking. Verse 7. So I prophesied I was as I was commanded. I was commanded but I did the decreeing and the moment I prophesied what did not even happen for God started happening to me when God was speaking and telling me what to say you would think the bones should just start acting he repeated verbatim the word confess comes from the Hebrew word homologio it means repeat as you have heard repeat the miracle did not start when Jesus was holding the bread he gave them as they held it and as they were moving it started multiplying 
I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones ah that means there is a condition where what does not look like can be aligned again at the instance of prophetic decrees the Bible didn't say the bones came around they came together just because the situation looks chaotic does not mean order cannot be there you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you are brooding over every darkness you are causing Listen, give us that scripture. We're wrapping up. We have to pray. Bones came together to his bone. That means whatever leaves you is still on earth. Just because it left you does not mean it has left the earth. There is a condition where it can return, including time. Verse 8. It says, And when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, you see how obedient those bones are they were never told to leave they were only told to come together so they obeyed and stopped there where the decree stopped was where the miracle stopped they were not asked to do more the realm of the spirit is very obedient you speak once it happens once let the redeemed of the lord say so it didn't say let them say so once flesh came upon them the word of god defined the limits of the miracles the instruction was come together and they came together and stopped there and then the bible says behold sinews and flesh came upon them the skin covered them but they were there was no breath because there was no instruction about life the instruction was for order not life so just because you made decree yesterday in your health does not mean your finances will automatically answer no one aspect can respond to the decree but another aspect of your life is waiting for the decree built for it this is powerful next verse verse 9 then he said unto me prophesy to the wind son of man say to the wind so said the lord god come from the four winds O breath breathe upon this lane that they may live the bones did not hear again verse 10 so i prophesied as i was commanded and breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army listen to me when the bible says we are kings and priests it is true that there is the capacity to legislate you may look small you may look frail you may look innocent you may not have the requisite level of education you may not have the requisite level of intellectual prowess but there is one thing you have you can stand in the place of priesthood like a herbalist locking yourself in a room you can start programming spiritual realities across your entire horizon and then come out and watch life align to the things you have spoken this is true the place of settlement is in the secret place and then we come out to watch the wonder walking power of the spoken word hmm. unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come decrease decrease god himself put the earth in motion to a decree job 38 don't turn there he said where was thou when i decreed to the sea and i said thus far have you come and no further shall you go that means the sea is the way it is today because a decree kept it was kept there that means flooding is a voice on earth in fraternity with the realm of the spirit programming the sea to move beyond its assigned jurisdiction everything that happens on earth that is negative please hear me there was someone in fraternity with the realm of the spirit who spoke it to happen even the coming of jesus it took anna the prophetess to pray the word to come on earth he didn't just appear when she saw him she said now my soul can find rest 
what I kept decreeing, speaking in the realm of the spirit, has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my lifting has come. Ah. Oh, Please rise up on your feet. Shall I take a to In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in the spirit. Please be serious. Take the time to pray, generate energy in the spirit. We are praying under a corporate anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Shake he speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the cat, 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 the